Hi, I'm Kelsey Hightower, a staff developer advocate for Google Cloud Platform. And hi, I'm Matt Hooker, an engineer at HashiCorp working on Packer. All right, this is the third video in a series covering open source tools from HashiCorp and how you can use them with Google Cloud Platform. In the last video, you learned how developers can create repeatable development environments with Vagrant. In this video, Matt and I are going to cover Packer. Matt, can you give us an overview of Packer? Yeah, thanks, Kelsey. I'd be happy to. Packer may at first seem a lot like Vagrant in the sense that it can be used to define the software and configuration for a VM. But unlike Vagrant, the artifact it produces is a machine image as opposed to a running VM. The machine image can be used to create VMs pre-configured exactly how you want them, all through a simple Packer config file. This is where it gets cool. With a single configuration and common specification, Packer can produce almost any machine image, like Google Compute Engine, other cloud providers, and even Docker images. Yeah, Packer is pretty <coughs> dope. I've used it in quite a few of my projects and know a few people using Packer. In fact, I'm the original author of the GCE Builder for Packer, going back many years now. Nice, I didn't know that. OK, then you might uh, have some kind of demo or something you could show us, right? That's why we're here. Continuing the story from last time, we want to create a GC image based on a similar config you saw in the Vagrant video. You recall from that video that Vagrant was used by developers with the main goal of creating their application and sharing across a Vagrant VM on Google. Now we're going to start sliding the perspective from our developer view over to our operations view, where you want to deploy these images on GCE for the running the app for our users. So the image we're going to create will have our 80 style arcade game and its dependencies installed and configured to start at boot time. Matt, how do we get started? Let's do it. You want to start by going to packer.io and downloading the version appropriate for your platform. In the last video, you saw how to set up your GCP project, so we'll skip that part this time. But I think this time we're going to use a GC instance. Right, Kelsey? Right. I have a machine called dev that we're going to use. We're going to be using Packer to create a new GCE operating system image. I'll first show you what we currently only have, the standard GCE images available to us. Great. Now let's flip over to our terminal on the dev instance, where I already have Packer installed and my Packer config file ready to go. Let's kick off the image build process now with the packer build command. OK, now that we've got that going, let's take a look at the hyperspace JSON config file we're using. Packer config files have two primary parts, a section that specifies builders and another for provisioners. In our builders section, you can see that I'm not only defining the variables needed to produce the Google Compute Engine image, I'm specifying attributes such as the base operating system and the name of the new image. Let's take a quick look at the provisioner section. Packer allows you to customize the image with any number of provisioner types, uh, like basic shell scripts, uh, which is what you see here, um, or even using other configuration management tools, such as Chef, Puppet, Ansible, et cetera. But back to the topic of builders. Kelsey, do you want to describe how Packer builds an image for a GCP? You bet. First, Packer spins up a new instance with the base image that was described. Then, Packer will SSH into the new VM and apply any configuration defined in the provisioning section of the Packer config. Here, we're basically reusing the shell script you saw in the Vagrant video, but split it out into its own file. Let's see how the build process is doing. OK, looks like it's running through those provisioning steps and our shell scripts. We'll skip ahead here a little bit, even though I know we all love watching Debian packages install. Once the provisioning customizations have finished, Packer will terminate the running GCE instance, but leave behind the persistent disk, or PD, as we like to call it. The PD contains the base operating system and our customizations and is used in a template to create the new GCE image. Once the image is created, Packer deletes the PD so there aren't any leftover resources in your GCP project. It's finished. Let's take a look at the list of images now. And sure enough, there's our new hyperspace image. We can even quickly spin up a new GC instance with our brand new image. I'll click the checkbox next to the image and click the Create Instance button. I'll keep all the defaults, but since hyperspace is a web app, I'll enable the HTTP firewall rule for the instance and then click Create. Hey, Matt, while we're waiting for this new instance to come up, let's take a look at the console output as it's booting. You can hit Refresh and see the new console output show up. OK. The instance is up. Let's click on the IP address to see what happens. Bam! Now that's dope. Great demo, Kelsey. Obviously, one of the biggest uh, strengths of Packer is the ability to produce equivalent images across multiple cloud providers. 
We definitely hear of customers that want multi-cloud support, so it's been great to see Google contributing to the project. All right, thanks, Matt, for joining us today. My pleasure. It's been a lot of fun. All right, thanks, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep up with more of the videos in the series. We've got more coming for how you can use other HashiCorp tools for GCP. Also, take a look at the description to see some of the work our colleague has done on creating an automated image builder using Jenkins, Packer, and Kubernetes. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out our last video in the series, as well as the playlist. And don't forget to subscribe.